Well, it's no secret, Wisconsin has a serious drunk driving problem. And now Wisconsin is the only state in the nation to use a program that could keep chronic drunk drivers off the road. And it involves fingernails. Courtney Garish is here with this new way to measure alcohol abuse. Courtney? Mike and Carol, European nations have been using this test since the 90s. It turns out fingernails tell the true story of people's drinking habits. It's hard evidence and you can't cheat the system. That has proven to be a powerful treatment tool, a tool one repeat drunk driver says saved his life. He just like, he almost just straight up like fell in at us. A wrong way driver, deputies say, was so drunk he couldn't take a breath test. You wonder how impaired a person has to be. Drinking and driving, Wisconsin has a problem. When I drank, I, I couldn't stop. Adam Villarreal used to be part of that problem. I should have had like thousands of DUIs. Looking back, can you even believe that you made it home? Some nights I wake up and I'd go outside my car would be like scratched up and wrecked. A vicious cycle Adam was caught in for years and being busted for his first OWI didn't change a thing. I didn't really care, you know, it was just like whatever. The second time around, he did 90 days in the county jail. Adam was still going through state mandated therapy when he was busted for his third OWI. That landed him in the biomarker program. You can't cheat it, you can't lie. That's because fingernails don't lie. It's how the program tests for abuse. Even though alcohol fades quickly from the body, testers can go back three months with fingernails. A positive also means the offender's been binge drinking. These tests really help people to recognize I'm drinking more than I think I'm drinking. Guida Brown is the executive director of the Hope Council in Kenosha County. So far, more than 370 repeat offenders have gone through biomicro testing, a required step for getting their license back. This is a kit that we use. Offenders are tested three times over a year. This is our scale, and we need 150 milligrams. The nail samples are sealed and sent to this lab in Des Plaines, Illinois for testing. Now this is someone who has a real serious problem. Douglas uh, Lewis is the founder of the United States Drug Testing Laboratories. This is the alcohol marker. He calls the biomarker test the anti-denial remedy. Once you overcome denial, you can start to treat someone. Most programs rely on the honor system, but this is hard data, proof offenders are still drinking. We're there to help them get sober, and this is a tool. The reason Madison-based researcher Pamela Bean started the biomarker program in Wisconsin. And you need constant help, especially if you're a repeat offender. Bean says there's no return investment on just throwing offenders in prison. Just incarceration, more jails, more fees, they're not gonna work with your addiction. With the biomarker program, drivers considered high risk are flagged so they don't slip through the cracks. It was just like a free for all. Adam was that high risk driver. I didn't know much of a support system. He's still in the process of getting his license back, but Adam's been clean and sober for 18 months and credits the biomarker program for getting him here. It's definitely, it's worth the fight. It's worth it. More than 500 repeat drunk drivers are enrolled in the biomarker programs right now. At least 300 are added every year. Six counties have the programs. Kenosha, Dane, and Washington are among those. Pamela Bean wants every Wisconsin County to adopt this program, especially Milwaukee. Fascinating technology, definitely a need for it here and elsewhere. I mean, isn't it interesting that Wisconsin's kind of the test state for yeah, us, yeah, consider for sure. our problems? Yeah, right. and she, she thinks that it could save the state a lot of money Absolutely. also because, and lives. right because the the they stay sober longer those that have been through the the program so they don't reoffend as much yes. or as often and that's going to save us on prison costs wow they have real data thank you very much Kate mm -hmm. uh, very oh, interesting Courtney, Courtney. Courtney. Yeah.